because we're going to drop in some floating candles. Um, Owen, would you do me a favor and look in the drawer in there up underneath the counter and bring me a lighter because I think that would be neat to light them so they can see what it looks like. So this is a wooden um, box. And actually, I think I'm going to turn it around um, because it's got a funny mark on that side. So we're going to turn it around and do it this way. Um, these are just glass cylinder vases. Um, I think they are eight and a half inches. And what I've done is we use three because it's odd numbers. Um, and I think that that Victoria and I agreed that three is better than four. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, when you come on, tell us hello. Tell us how you are and tell us where you're from. We love to know that. We should be live on both Facebook and YouTube. So if you would, in the comments, tell us hello. We love to, uh, we love to hear from you. Um, Victoria is here and she is going to read any comments or questions that you might have. She's able to read it on both platforms. So if you have any comments or any questions about anything, please don't hesitate to ask those questions. Um, and let me know if you can hear me. Please give me a thumbs up or a heart. Um, we're still working with mics and making sure that our mics are right. Thank you, honey. Um, so if you would give me a thumbs up or a heart, that would be fantastic. So we are going to start. This is just a wooden box. Um, I want to say it's probably 24 inches or so. We're getting thumbs up. Okay, great. Um, it's about 24 inches or so. It may be a little longer than that. Not exactly sure the dimensions. Um, but what we're going to do is I'm going to use this foil paper and I am going to cut up some pieces of this fresh floral foam and we're going to tuck it in between each base. Now, the reason I'm using the foil paper is because the foil paper is going to give us um, waterproof. I mean, it's going to make it where it's not going to drip out, okay? So it's going to um, give us a little bit of a reservoir for water to go without running out of this box because it'll very easily run out of the box, right? I'm going to set some. I'm going to cut it into four pieces, I guess. Let's see if I do it this um, Joan and Chris are watching on YouTube today. Hello, hello. Thank you for being here with us today. We have several folks watching on, um, on Facebook. Are talking to us on Facebook. Yay, I'm so glad you're here, guys. Thank you so much. Okay, so what I did was I just cut this foil paper into four tiny squares, okay? I'm going to set this piece to the side for if in case we need it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fresh floral foam and I am going to cut it into four pieces. And then I'm going to take it and set it right into this foil paper and I'm kind of wrapping it. And what it's going to do is it's going to give us a little bit of a reservoir to hold some water so that our flowers will last a little while in that floral foam. I just kind of dropped it right down into the box. Now, foil paper is something that we use pretty often here. We wrap a lot of our plants with foil paper, and so we have it on hand all the time. So I just wrapped it. You can see I kind of wrapped it like a little present, and I'm just dropping it right down between those vases. wedding this week? No, ma'am. And actually, the wedding that um, that Owen said was this week is actually next week. Um, it is, and it's a faux wedding, but we actually have two little weddings next week. We have one that's all artificial um, that we're going to add fresh greenery to. That's what I worked on yesterday on YouTube. And then we have one that's, it's got a good bit of fresh flowers and then a little bit of faux. And so we've been working a lot with faux flowers lately. But this is just for fun, Miss Dawn. We just thought we would make something different. 
Um, we already filled all of our orders for tomorrow. And so we thought, let's just do something different and fun. Okay, so I just kind of wrapped this foil around that fresh floral foam. And I just tucked it in between my vases. Now the nice part about it being in white is that it doesn't, um, it's not going to be too bad um, when you see through the vases. Because the vases of course are clear and so you can see through them, but the white looks okay. Okay, so I just tucked that fresh floral foam throughout. Next we're gonna come in with a little bit of greenery. So I have salal or lemon leaf, and I just dropped a lot of it on the floor. So these are, um, this is just lemon leaf. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my floral knife, I'm gonna cut it at an angle, and I am just going to green out this flower foam. Um, Allison says, loving this idea so far. Isn't this kind of fun? It's just something a little different. So I'm taking this salal, I'm gonna move it over here so you can kinda of see what I'm doing. And I'm just cutting it into small pieces. And I'm just tucking it right into that foam. This one a little hungry caterpillar got a hold of. Hi, Miss Vicki, she wants to know what we're making today. We are making a centerpiece. We're just kind of doing something a little different. Um, it's always nice to see different ideas, I think. And actually, Miss Victoria was um, was flipping through Pinterest and came across something a little similar. What the, or did we kind of we kind of made it up? I think. Um, I think it was a faux. It had a faux centerpiece in it, and the vases were actually candles. And so I said, you know, we've got some pretty um, floating candles back there. What if we did floating candles? And so it's just, uh, we just thought we'd have fun. Sometimes it's nice just to have fun. So I'm just taking this allow and cutting it in small pieces and just pressing it right into that foam. Um, Linda Jester says, finally seeing your video from the very beginning. Hello, can hear you just fine. Just watched you on YouTube make that arrangement for a woman under the weather. weather. Beautiful as always. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. We're so glad you're, you're here live with us. Miss Vicki, I am not Monty's daughter. We get that a lot. <laughs> we do. They ask a lot, don't they? <laughs> but um, I'm actually dating, I work here at the flower shop, and then I'm dating her son, Owen. So, she kind of, she feels like my mother. In a way. <laughs> do I boss you around? <laughs> Amen. But you, you, you love me. I feel I like you love me love like, you, like a, baby girl. your daughter. <laughs> I do love you, baby girl. And I love you, too. <laughs> the daughter I always wanted, right, Victoria? <laughs> Micah came here a boy, so I... <laughs> the daughter I prayed for, for sure. All right, so I'm just... It's just going to take a little time, but we're just adding this little um, greenery. And you can really do this with anything. You don't have to use salal. If you've got something in your yard, I know with us here in Mississippi, we lost a lot of our foliage that we usually have year round um, to a, a quick freeze. And so it's just now starting to bud out and starting to um, just now get to where I'm so excited that it's coming back because I was really concerned. I was so nervous. Um, but the Iliagnus is starting to come back and the privet's starting to come back. Anyway, you can always cut pretty foliage out of your yard. Nandina is just now starting to come back. I was so scared we'd lost all the Nandina, but we did not, so mm -hmm. thank heavens. Um, but you can always take foliage and cut it out of your yard to do something like this. And when making an arrangement like this, you can always, if you have pretty things in your yard, go cut them. 
You can also use faux flowers um, in the same way that I'm doing here. Um, oh, Dawn says that is so nice. You two have a special relationship. Oh, I think we do. <laughs> I think we like each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we sure do. Um, Miss Christy, so I we don't have that piece for the other camera. If we did, I would I would have hooked it up so we could get a closer picture. So for today, I think we're just gonna have the farther away um, angle. Owen went to get it, but they were out. Yes, he so he's gonna have to order it online. So it's coming. We'll be able to do the two angles soon. Okay, so there's my greenery. This is just lemon leaf or salal. Let's make sure that it's covered the edges. And I took some of that green, some of that foam down. Okay, so you know one thing though, Victoria, is we might want to lift up these vases so that they're a little higher in mm -hmm. this arrangement. Because I feel like once we start adding the flowers in these, mm -hmm. the candles are gonna get lost. So let's see if we can take a little bit of styrofoam. So this is just, we, um, I, I really ordered the wrong thing, quite honestly. I don't know if you've ever done that online where you mm -hmm. think you know what you're doing and you really probably don't. Um, so this styrofoam came in way wider than I, than I had imagined. Um, so I'm gonna take my floral knife and forget this sound because I know it's terrible. But I'm gonna cut. Is it coming in? There it is, right there. Take that. Um, are you take those signs? So I'm just taking a piece of styrofoam, and I'm going to lift up our vases, and that way they're going to. You'll be able to really see that candle. In these vases. So I'm just tucked that styrofoam in. Did that help? I think a little bit. I may have to adjust it. Those boards. Okay, so what I did was I just made a little riser for those vases just out of styrofoam. And that way, then it's a you're able to see, um, I think one's a little higher, but you get, the, you get the idea. Okay, next what we're going to do is we're going to add some fresh flowers. Got a good mess going. Um, we're going to add some fresh flowers. So we have these pretty pink roses and they're kind of blown and so that's why we chose these. Um, so I'm going to take some of these pretty pink roses and I'm going to go ahead and open them up a little bit just because that's kind of fun when you have a blown rose. So see how, how I opened that rose. I'm going to take my floral knife, I'm going to cut it in an angle. They smell so pretty. They smell like a garden. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm gonna take it and tuck that bloom just right down deep into that floral foam. Um, Miss Vicki says that is going to be beautiful. I'd like to try and make something like this for my kitchen island. Oh, I think this would be wonderful. Now you can use pillar candles if you want to. You certainly do not have to use the floating candles. We just thought that would be fun and different. Um, I don't know if we've ever done an arrangement with the floating candles before. And so that's why we chose the, the floating candles. She also says, love the contrast of the wood with the greenery. I just thought that was kind of fun. Um, we ha And we had these long troughs in the wood. Um, you could absolutely take this raw wood and you could whitewash it if you wanted to um, and, and make it a little different, um, which is always kind of fun. Um, but we just kind of left it raw. 
All right, so I just tucked a few little roses down in. You know what? I bet we're going to be better off. Anyway, we'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll figure it out as we go. I've got some pretty pink carnations. So these are sweet baby girl pink carnations. So what you're going to do with a carnation is I want you to take it and hold it in your hand, and I want you to hold the little calyx of the bloom. Just hold it right there really softly in your hand. And then I want you to take your fingers and I want you to softly brush that carnation. What that's going to do is just open it up and, um, and kind of fluff up those little, little petals. Because sometimes they come here and they're not quite as open as they can be. So if you'll take your hand and just brush those petals, you're gonna open it up completely. Um, earlier, Sunny said, I missed it, um, said creating on the fly, that's what a designer does. That's right, we just make it work, don't we? Well, I just hate to show y'all the same thing every single day. I'm sure that gets boring. Um, and so that's the reason we thought we would, we would figure it out, right? Um, on YouTube, JM says hello from San Diego. Welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Carnations smell pretty, too. Mm -hmm. I just keep sticking things to my nose. I'm sure they are. <laughs> um, John, John Palmer says, cool idea. Going to remember this one. Thanks so much. Oh, of course. Of course. So glad that it's something you can can get creative with and have fun. We've got orange spray roses. So what I'm gonna do with these guys is some of them, their stems are really long. Like this one, it's missing a few stems, but it has long stems. So I'm just gonna take and pop those off. I'm gonna cut that stem at an angle. And we're gonna pop a few of these little orange guys down in here just to give us some bright color. I think orange is so pretty. And orange, to me, really works for most seasons. Um, the Lyrical Lily says, have to leave to go watch my boy's baseball game. Can't wait to see how this ends. Have fun, friend. Tell him good luck from us. Uh, Miss Vicki says, I just had breast cancer surgery and so enjoy when I catch you live. Oh, bless your heart. I am so glad you're here with us and I'm glad we bring a little joy to your life. It's so fun to design flowers and, and to play with pretty things. We will certainly keep you in our prayers. Uh, Miss Margaret Lynch asks, how is Mr. Todd today? Oh, he's good. He's been lazy, lazy today. I'm not sure why he has slept so much, but he sleeps a lot anyway. But he has really been lazy this afternoon. It has been very warm here in Mississippi, and so it's almost so warm that we need the air conditioner on. Um, so he's just been a lazy guy. <laughs> So I'm just taking these little roses and I'm just cutting them into smaller pieces so that we are able to use them in several different spots. Um, Miss Vicki says, you certainly do. I absolutely love flowers. Thanks so much for your prayers and thoughtfulness. Yes, ma'am. Look at these, look, look at these spiders. <laughs> I love that lavender, mm -hmm. that sweet lavender. Okay, so these are in the mum family, the chrysanthemum family. This is called a spider mum. And of course you can see it almost looks like little tiny spider legs. Um, lots of them, but like little tiny spider legs. And so I'm just gonna take that stem and I cut it short. I was watching Jason out the window. I apologize, I didn't. <laughs> it was like, I thought I saw something and it's Jason's shadow. Now, I really like a chrysanthemum because they last a long time. That was a rubber band tucked in. They last a really long time, and so I love a chrysanthemum. So just kind of tuck it deep into that floral foam. Oh, 
I missed this comment earlier too. Miss Lenny says about the Nandina and Eliagnus all coming back. Um, she says, oh, where'd it go? <laughs> it's hiding from you. Um, she says, you give me hope. Our shrubs have not begun to come back, but we are 85 miles further north. Oh, uh, well, I tell you, I know that the, I've, my Eliagnus is definitely peeking back. Um, my Nandina at home has not given me any, um, it has not given me any sign of life, which hurts my feelings really, really bad. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping that it will come back. Um, but the, but most things are starting to, um, starting to bud out a little bit. So, so I'm so thankful. So here in Mississippi, we had a very, um, we had a hard, hard, hard freeze. And so we've had hard freezes before. It's not the fact that we had a hard freeze that caused all of our plants to drop all of their um, leaves. It's because it froze so quickly. So it went from 60 degrees to below zero in, in a matter of hours. And so when it did that and it didn't give it the time that it needed to acclimate to the weather, it froze everything. Um, like even all of our pansies just melted because they froze. So these are just little green buttons, little green button moms. And I just am taking their stems and just cutting their stems. I'm cutting them into individual blooms and tucking those in. And so when our, all of our leaves fell off, that was kind of that was overwhelming for the um, florist who likes to cut from her shrubs. Um, but it's looking like everything's going to come back. So I'm so thankful. Um, <laughs> Sweetbriar says, Monty, can you see well with your glasses on your head? LOL. <laughs> These are, so I'm wearing my contacts today. So I can see well with my contacts. I just can't read a thing with, them, with my contacts. And so I have my readers on my head. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so yes. I can I can see fine as long as I'm not trying to read something. She says, just making you laugh. Girl, girl, <laughs> this getting old is for the birds, I tell ya. <laughs> this getting old is no fun. But I think they're better on the top of my head than around my neck because they get in the way if I have them on a little string around my neck. Mm -hmm. All right, I got us some buttons tucked in. We've got some orange Alstroemeria lilies. So let's tuck a few of those little blooms in there. So I'm going to take, this is one stem of Alstros, and it's got one, two, three, four, five, five blooms. So I'm going to take those blooms, and I'm just going to cut them all off the stem. Um, on YouTube... Valerie says, hi from Pennsylvania. I enjoy watching you create floral inspiration. Oh, thank you so much. Friend, thank you for being here. So I'm just taking these individual blooms. I am just tucking them right into that floral foam. Now you have to be very careful with an Alstroemeria lily. Their little stems are very fragile and they will break so very easily. Um, Kathy Chase says, I'm in Tupelo. My Nandinas are making a comeback. Oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm so glad to hear that, Kathy. I'm looking forward. The ones here at the flower shop are coming back. I'm starting to see some, some new growth. But um, mine at home are pitiful. And Jason's like, I wanted to cut those down anyway. And I'm like, you be quiet. Don't cut my stuff. They get, they're in the way. No, they're not, honey. They're wonderful. They're saying it's looking beautiful. Thank you, friends. Thank you, thank you. So you can see it's really just a little mounded arrangement. It's um, nothing too fancy. Melanie says, I love this so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. All right. Do we want... I think Miss uh, Mary Lou said earlier that she, oh yes, she was watching, you, I, I don't know, it, my Facebook does this every time while I have to go back and find a comment and it'll send an ad and it pulls me all the way down to the bottom of the oh. comments. So 
I have to scroll all the way back up. So this is Green Dragon. I'm going to use it as um, a filler flower. And I'm just going to tuck it in to give us just a little bit of whimsy to this arrangement. Okay. Miss Mary Lou said, saw the video on YouTube making arrangement with plumes for a wedding. It was beautiful. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Yes. Um, so, that wedding is for a little bride who brought me all of her faux flowers. And she also brought me the plumes to put in there. And so, that's what I've actually worked on all afternoon. We've been really quiet, so we've been whispering. You know, if you're quiet and you have quiet time, you're thankful to have some quiet time. And so I've been back here um, working on that wedding. And Victoria's been working on the, on the website and the internet. And Owen's been piddling with different Owen things that he does. <laughs> and so I've been back here listening to podcasts and, and making that... Um, that, those arrangements. Now that wedding is actually next week, um, but she wanted to pick up all of those florals next Wednesday. And so that's the reason I've been working on that one. Um, but it's fun. It's kind of fun to work with different things. You know, with different mediums, it's neat. Okay, I'm gonna preemptively turn this camera off again. Good job, Sister Sue. Yeah. So our camera will go dark, and if we do not, um, if we do not go and and turn it off and turn it back on, it's going to go dark on us. So that's what Victoria's working on. I love Green Dragon. I wish it was hardier. It's not as hardy as I would prefer. For some reason, it doesn't want to come back on. Oh, Snapdragon. Please come back on. Are they able to hear us? Yes, you can see. Oh, maybe I was putting it in. I tell you, this um, camera is going to be the death of us. Is it fixed? No. Are you kidding? Why is it? It was doing it earlier. I hate that camera. <laughs> I'm going to start talking ugly about it. Oh, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to start saying ugly words over we here. <laughs> I apologize, guys. I'm going to yeah. say ugly words it about the camera. Yeah, it normally comes right back on when I plug it in, but for some reason it wasn't this time. Just because it wants me to say ugly <laughs> words. Okay, so I added our little... um green dragon to our arrangement. Now I will tell you, I love the look of green dragon. I do not love the longevity of green dragon. It just doesn't want to last as long as I would prefer it to. Next I'm going to come in with Crispedia, or these are also called Billy Balls. They are the sweetest little orb flowers. They're just tiny little balls. Um, and they're so much fun to work with. And of course, they're in yellow, which is even better. And so I'm just going to tuck some of these fun little billy balls throughout our arrangement. Okay, you have several questions. All right. Um, Melanie Abram Abrams wants to know how much this whole thing would cost. Okay, so Melanie, I don't have one clue. I'll have to add it up because really it was it's not an ordered arrangement. It's not an arrangement someone has placed an order for. We're just making it because it's fun. So I will add it up for you. <laughs> um, on YouTube, Melanie Gomez says, Ha ha, ugly words. We've started using that phrase in our shop because... Girl, of I will say some ugly words. <laughs> I will, and I'll warn people. I'm fixing to say an ugly word. <laughs> um, and Victoria will go, Oh, she's going to say an ugly word. I will. I will say an ugly word. I try real hard. I do a lot of repenting. <laughs> <laughs> And Jason gets on to me. I don't know why you need to say ugly words. Well, sometimes things happen that make you say them. Um, Don Miller asks, how much is the wood box? This wood box, I want to say, is 42 for the wooden box. 
Thomas Carolyn Lane says, catching you live for the first time in a while. So it's a happy afternoon here in cloudy Texas. Oh, I'm so glad you're here, Miss Carolyn. She says, I'm watching another lovely arrangement made with love. Ladies, have a happy <laughs> evening. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, so I do definitely want our um, foam to come up taller um, because it's not nearly tall enough. So, I wonder if I can flip it. I can. Sunny asked, and I may have missed it, I think it was about the billy balls. Okay. But Sunny asks, what flower are you using now? I think okay, so these are called, it's called Crispedia. Is it scientific oh, name? Okay. These little guys? Okay. Oh, thanks. Oh, did my mom get squashed? Yeah, I think that's going to be better. So these are called Crispedia or billy balls. Um, they're just little round orbs. I don't even know how they grow. I've never seen them grow. I've never seen a lot of things grow, um, but I like them. Okay, so I'm gonna make some larger pieces. Um, on YouTube, Valerie says, I did a wedding during COVID with all faux flowers with dry highlights. It was an outdoor event. The flowers showed up beautiful in the pictures. Oh, yes, I'm so excited. Um, yeah, you know, I have really, been working on just some different ideas. So what I'm doing here, guys, is, I'm making my phone too big. I am raising these bases because I want you to see, I want you to be able to see these floating candles. So I'm just taking a, a piece of styrofoam and I'm dropping it right down into the, yeah, that's gonna work. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be so much better. I'm just taking um, the foam. And I'm raising these bases. Miss Marianne says nothing wrong with occasional with an occasional dirty word. LOL. Oh. <laughs> Well, and I'll be back here, and I'll go Snapdragon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure people look at me like, what in the heavens is she even saying? Well, that's better than an ugly word, right? Um, Ed Simcoe says, hi, Mommy. Did you get my message on prices for the cross you did yesterday? We'll be watching. Did we get that message? Did we I message didn't see Ed? it today. Well, look, Ed, I'm sorry that we did not respond. We tried to respond. This That's what Victoria's been working on. Um, but, yes, we'll, we'll send you a message. We sure will. Uh, and Miss Margaret wants to know what was the price for the cross yesterday. Um, it was 90 The arranged cross was 90 um, Kathy Chase asks, do you ever use Sweet Annie? Kathy, I, do I know what Sweet Annie is? I'm not sure that I know what it is. We'll have to look it up. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of status. So this is white status. Um, and we got in a mixed box of status. Um, last week with the purples and yellow and this is the white which is so pretty i tell you oh it's so pretty i have never worked with that i don't get it i don't think i have oh i like it mm -hmm. i've never worked with it no ma'am um annie on YouTube says, hey, from Henderson, North Carolina. Hope you all are doing good. And Thank a you, Miss Annie. We are. Thank you. She says, our weather has been totally awesome. Great to work outside. It has been, hasn't it? It's got us all having spring fever over here. So ready to get outside and plant. I am going to work this week on... Um, starting some seeds. I have not started seeds yet, and so I thought I would work on starting seeds. So I'm going to work on a TikTok to show you how I'm going to start some seeds or a or a um, a little real video. Um, but I always like to start seeds just because number one, they're less expensive than plants, 
And number two, it's fun to watch those babies grow. Um, Susan Davis says, enjoyed your anniversary pictures. Thanks for sharing. Oh, you're so welcome. We had the best time. Oh, it was so much fun. And Mama just loved it. Mama and Daddy just had a blast. Um, Dawn asks, do you get a lot of orders for Easter? Not a whole lot, Miss Dawn. We don't. Now, we do get a whole lot for um, for Mother's Day, but not a whole lot at Easter. We'll do a little bit. Um, we'll do lots of palm branches for Palm Sunday, but we don't do a whole lot for um, actual Easter. Um, <laughs> on YouTube, Valerie says, and I find this funny. Um, <laughs> she says, I, I think have... I just spit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was laughing at you. Um, she says, I have a saying when everything goes wrong, may the fleas of a thousand camels infest your armpits. <laughs> oh, bless. That is funny. We, we need to save that. We'll have to save that one. All right. So that status is pretty. That white is pretty. Okay, do we look like we need any other flowers on that side? Um, I think Vicki asked a question about about how did you line the oasis in the beginning? I think that Allison... I'll pull it out. Because it'll just lift out. Look. Just to make sure. Okay, so I just took a piece of foil paper. So here at our shop, we will take a roll of foil paper and um, it just comes in a roll and we usually um, wrap plants with this foil paper, but we can also line fresh floral foam. And so it's waterproof. So it, I just kind of made just a little, just almost like a little diaper. I just wrapped it with that foil. So it will actually hold water. And then I just kind of fit it right down into um, the space um, and it works perfectly. I mean, it just slid right down in. So each piece I've got, so I only used one block, block of floral foam and I cut it into fourths and I dropped a block, a part of that block in each um, spot between my vases. Now I lifted my vases and you saw me work and work and work on that because of course it's trial and error. Um, but I just used a piece of foam this is hard styrofoam and I just cut just a block and I lifted my vases there. Now we ordered, um, this is another one of those, um, when you order things off the internet you really need to have a ruler or um, something with you so that you can do your measurements. But we ordered some little floating candles for an event and I mean when I tell you little they were tiny right? They're little tiny floating candles, but these will fit right on, they will float right on top of the water in each of these vases. I have always thought floating candles were so magical and fun. Um, I remember mama had a birthday party for us one time, um, and we put floating candles on the swimming pool, and I thought that was the most magical thing <laughs> when I was a little girl. And so... I've always really enjoyed a floating candle in an arrangement. And so you'll just take, they've got wicks, and you'll just take them, and you'll just light those. I could have trimmed the wicks, but I didn't. And you'll just light those little wicks. And these candles will float, and they'll, um, they'll burn for several hours. I'm not sure um, what the length of time that these will burn will be. Um, but that you can order these from Amazon and they'll come in. But you want to really, when you're um, thinking about floating candles, think about the length of time that you need them to burn and that's how you'll buy them. Um, but I just think they're so pretty and so elegant and fun. It's just a really fun way to add a candle to an arrangement. And there is no danger involved. Um, because when you put like a taper candle in an arrangement or a pillar candle in, a, in an arrangement, you always kind of have to worry about the flowers and if they're going to get burned and all the things. Um, with a floating candle, you have no worry about safety um, because it's surrounded by water. So you don't have any worries whatsoever about the safety. 
safety of the uh, of the arrangement. Any more questions, Miss Victoria? On YouTube, Valerie says, I'm close to Philadelphia. Don't miss the 2023 flower show. Plenty of reviews on YouTube. Okay, I will have to see that. Thank you. Um, here, let's see. Um, they're saying it's beautiful. Um, Marie Jose says, so, so beautiful. You have once again demonstrated your skills. I wish you were my daughter <laughs> and Victoria my granddaughter. I would always have beautiful flowers. Oh, they are so much fun. Flowers are so much fun and they bring such joy. Um, and I think that's the best part about flowers is that they just make you happy, don't they? Um, and that's why I enjoy planting seeds and grow. It just makes me happy to watch them grow. I'll call mama. I usually plant enough seeds that I can share them, the little seedlings with mama. And so I'll call and say, is so-and-so blooming? And mine's not blooming, she'll say. <laughs> but it's so much fun and it just brings lots of joy. I think flowers, if they don't do anything else, they put smiles on people's faces and that's the best part about a flower. Um, Becky Dunlop says floating candles are just the best, so Aren't elegant they? and pretty. They just are fun. Sunny says you could use fairy lights too if you didn't want to deal with the water. Yes, and fairy lights are so fun too. Now my only problem with fairy lights is finding them a cool light or a warm light. And I'm a warm light girl. I don't really like the cool, the blue of the cool lights. And so I don't know why that drives me. And so I always have to be real careful. That's another thing that you have to be real careful when you're ordering things is whether it's a cool light or a warm light. Um, but I, love, I like fairy lights too. They, they just bring such a pretty ambiance to the arrangement. Um, Linda Jester says, I would like to see you on Facebook planting starting seeds. Love to do that too. Love this arrangement so much. I sure will. Yes, ma'am. I will certainly do um, a quick little video on the seed starting. I sure will. Is that it? It's pretty. Guys, thank you so much for being here with us this afternoon. We love each and every one of you, and thank you so very much for coming here and spending time with us. Um, this is a joy. It's such a joy to make pretty flowers, and it's such a joy that that I get to share that with you guys. If you have any questions about how we do things here at the flower shop, you know I always say this, but don't hesitate to ask that. Um, in the, you can send us a personal message if you want to, or you can ask it in the comments and we're happy to try to answer that. Um, we will be back tomorrow. I don't know what we're gonna do, but we will be back tomorrow and we will make some more pretty flowers. Y'all have a wonderful evening and we'll see you real soon.